Hi, I'm Steve-O, the window cleaner. What we're gonna talk about today, how to clean off debris from residential windows mostly for commercial windows. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hey, welcome to Window Cleaning Resources YouTube channel. We're here in the 2020 window cleaning shop. What we're gonna talk about today is how to clean off debris from residential windows mostly for commercial windows. I usually don't need to do much removal except for construction, but the, um, the five essential tools that I'll show you today for removing debris will also help you there if you ever do construction cleans. First is the white pad. Uh, the white pad would be used for cleaning that um, aren't too dirty, but just need a little extra scrub. Then we have our razor, six inch razor. This can be used for taking off things like paint, um, other debris that wouldn't come off from like a soft scrub. Our magic erasers are really great for silicone. Of course, we always have our steel wool. Um, these is great uh, wet. Sometimes I like to do is do a combination of these two, unfold the steel wool, make it flat, use that as kind of a hand buffer and work in the steel wool for house windows. Also we have here is the bronze wool pad. These can be used as a water fed pole attachment with the DA components, but it can be also used just by hand. Nice thing about bronze wool compared to steel wool. It will not rust, it will last longer. These do a great job using them on a water fed pole or using them by hand with traditional methods. I would definitely suggest these, but can be a little more costly than say using um, the regular steel wool, which will rust. So if you get it wet, usually it's just good for one cleaning. That's about it as far as the tools that you would use uh, to remove debris from the glass. So let's go to the job site and check out how we are going to use these tools to remove debris from the glass. Okay, so here we are at a uh, here we are at the job site, and uh, we're just going to go over today all the different ways of removing debris from the glass with the tools that I showed you earlier. Inside of this house has tent, heavy, heavy tent that does not move well with the squeegee. So with tent, all you're able to do is just use a white pad. This will get off basically fingerprints, but you cannot remove paint or anything when a house has tent. You cannot use steel wool, nothing. You can see sometimes with tent, it is super, super hard just to fan on it. But when you have a dirty home, you also cannot do straight pulls because you'll get white streaks on tent. So you'll hear this window. I always put a lot of soap on when I do tint, but sometimes it just does not matter. So if you have anything else on this glass, like fingerprints or anything, let me just detail real quick. If you have any fingerprints or anything like that, this is where Magic Eraser comes in. On this particular glass, I don't see any. You can find that there'll be like a fingerprint and these just work perfectly. They won't scratch anything or anything. So, but tint, you're gonna see like a lot of different stuff that you just can't do anything with. Tint, white pad, and magic eraser. That's it, it's the only thing you can use. These windows right here do not have tint. So, what I would suggest to do the best job on the inside are the bronze wool pads. So those are the same pads like we're using for, been really popular for water fed pole. These things will just remove everything and anything except for like paint and silicone. Which paint you would use a razor for, and silicone we'd use our magic eraser for, or maybe a combination of some steel wool if it's really, really bad. And you can notice there is no squeaking of these lot of soap because there's no tint on that glass. Now we're probably gonna head to the basement and uh, check on those, those are extremely dirty. Okay, so with the basement windows here, I always, always mop. Then I give it, give it a good razor in here. Basement. We 
I just always razor unless it's you know a tempered window and you really can hear that scratching the glass. So then what I do, I mop it again. And then I'll always use some sort of, of, of steel wool. Once again, I'm gonna use the brass because that's kind of a combination of the white pad and the air steel wool and we're not gonna rust. It's gonna do a real good job. Just work it in. Sometimes on basements when you have water stains and you're using a razor, you can see the paths of your razor once you clean the glass if you don't buff it out with some sort of white pad or steel wool. And then this is where you can go back to the glass a little bit, take your dry steel wool and buff out any really hard spots. But basements are always pretty bad. So don't work them with the razor, work them with some sort of steel wool or white pad. And really that's about it unless, uh, unless the customer wants to go further and do some sort of wa hard water removal, which we won't do in this video. So let's move on. Let's get the basement done and uh, get outside and get some of the second floor done. So here we have the kitchen window. I always call this window the most important window of the house. Kitchen windows. Unless there's tint, I always razor them. Unless you can really hear some bad stuff on them. But kitchen windows always need the most work. And as in kitchen windows, I mean the windows above the sink. So first, mop it, razor it, mop it again. Get out your bronze wool pad. Make sure to get the bottoms really, really good. Squeegee. Detail. Okay, and then if you have anything left on the glass, there's no tint, you can use bronze or regular steel wool grade zero 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 just to give it a touch up see a little you know food spot bug spots anything like that you can easily touch them up with this and go right away there won't be any smudges if it's dry if it's not dry you can't use it outside tips are really the inside same as the inside outside if you don't see much paint or anything you really don't need to use a razor these windows don't really sound too good with the razor anyway, so we're not going to use them. So really on the outside, we're just going to use the combination of this bronze steel wool. White pad would do a good job. This house has not been cleaned in a very long time. So it's better just to do this, have one step, try to limit as many steps as possible. And that right there will get your window very clean from one that's very dirty. That bottom there. Now you see, we have a couple little dots here. Bronze steel wool, or regular steel wool, takes it right off. No reason to redo the window. When I was new, I would see a spot and I would always redo the window. Don't need to do that. So another spot right here, buff it out, touch it up. Really, I just use these for bug spots, and if you have a little bit of paint, you can also use it for that. Just a little bit of, you know, really small spray paint. So, get this bottom one clean here. Use our bronze steel wool again. Get to the corners. It's usually the space there's the most buildup. And these are nice because, I mean, you get your whole hand in there and really get a large surface. And also, if you're using these for water-fed pole, you know, only a certain area of it gets used. Take them off after using the water-fed pole and start using them by hand with your old ones. That's a great way to save money and not buy a bunch of them. Okay. You see how quick you can clean a very dirty window. These windows, you know, don't need any razor or anything, but they definitely are dirty. 
it's kind of hard to see because they're all heavily tinted on the inside so they look pretty dark okay guys so if you are at a home you can't quite reach and you're on the roof you can't get your ladder up there any sort of accelerator swivel tool um, this is a modified one here you can use just to clean these upper windows now say we scrub it down sometimes these scrubbers aren't the best for getting all debris off right you have two options your first option would always be you know use your big use your big mop first mop it second option is they make these these are like a white pad um they used to call them i believe called like a white shark or something like that um but you can find a window clean resource and you could just give your window a good scrub there with a white pad okay we scrub the whole window if that's all you had or what you can also do is grab your detail squeegee for frames and such these bronze bronze wool pads fit over them great put them at an angle kind of like a sandwich put them right there like that and just work the window and this can be done all the way up to pulling up to 30 feet just think of it just like your attachment you would for the DA components on the water fed pole. But also like you're on the lower ground and you had to get over something, you had to pull it, but it was extremely dirty. That's the best way to do it. Well guys, overall, that's pretty much all the tips I have as far as tools to use at houses. Um, this can be all the tips that I've shown you today can also be done with uh, commercial projects as far as construction cleans but just be careful with commercial as far as um, you know tempered glass and making sure you're not scratching anything even with steel we'll be very careful at commercial accounts but with houses let's remember tint we're only going to use white pads on um, tempered glass we're going to try not to use razors on as much as possible unless there's heavy heavy paint um, but overall the bronze wool pads are really great for homes as far as just cleaning up every corner great for anyone from beginner to professional to clean it up really well so if you guys have any questions comment below i'll answer them all for you please uh, subscribe like and check out window cleaning resources youtube channel check out my own channel steve of the window cleaner and that's about it for today guys and uh See you later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you like the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you cry yourself to sleep without Steve O, check out his channel at Steve O the Window Cleaner on YouTube.